Hi Gemini, this is Mary Shi on my channel Jaloka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me for this week. Alright, Gemini's out there. So I'm going to rise in Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Just one last time. Alright, Gemini's out there. Your first count is this one. We got the Knight of Cups. Wonderful. Ooh, okay. So it seems like there is something uh, which you're hoping for. Okay? This could be an offer. Uh, and it seems like people are not, a, uh, not on the same page. Okay? Because there is this um, energy about wanting it. But the other person is like, Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's just not being on the same page as you. Okay, this whatever this offer is, because Knight of Cups, there is something to be offered, and I feel like you want this to come through, or somebody is coming forward. Okay, this could be a, a different scenario where somebody is coming forward towards you with an offer, but you are not ready for this. Okay, it could be a marriage proposal as well, mm? and you're not really sure. Because uh, uh, with this Hierophant energy right behind the five uh, swords, it's, it's, it's like there is this confrontational energy. Like somebody wants it and the other person is like, no, nah, not really. That kind of energy. All right. Some of you might be dealing with um, an Aquarius energy or probably a Taurus energy or a Pisces energy. There is something about a one-way one way situation like you know one person wants it the other person doesn't they, yeah um, something about seven of pentacles waiting energy okay someone is putting in the work and waiting to see where things will go they want me to look at this card as well three of pentacles ah <sighs> somebody is just waiting for things to you know transform or transition into the future they're looking at the long term okay because they feel like there is potential i get to make it work again okay? there, there is this energy about collaborating you know people coming together so somebody might want you to join them to make something work but then you are not really sure. It could be because a uh, um, harafant is a management situation as well. Okay? Gemini is. All right. Uh, it, it could be a foundation of some sort. It could be your company, your team, you know, all that. Because Three of Pentacles is people coming together and discussing something, trying to make something work. But there is this energy about waiting it out. Hmm? Holding on, not giving up, that kind of energy. Because I do see like, you know, someone is not really sure. Another person is not giving up. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus energy or a Capricorn energy. <laughs> someone feels a little bit right. Okay, this could be the reason why, uh, you know, you feel defeated probably in the past something did not work out so you are questioning whatever is coming your way because something is coming your way yeah you're being logical about something because queen is swords you're not going to think with your heart you're going to think with your head okay and you you're still thinking about the past mis mishaps whatever did not work out people stabbing you in the back no, somebody might have betrayed you and they're coming around. Yeah, it could be a situation as well with that Knight of Cups and the Vice with a sword situation. They, they want to make it work. Okay, you might already be in a relationship, all right, a marriage as well. And then this person uh, might have screwed you back, uh, uh, screwed you over because uh, that's a betrayal energy. Okay, because five swords, ten of swords. So they're going, they don't want things to end. 
like trying to make it work but one person is like no no okay that kind of energy someone doesn't want to end want things to end they want to fix it but you have a reason for ignoring them that is why that is what i was picking up you know it's it's like a one way situation like one person is not really into it so with the clarification they might have screwed you in the past. Hmm. Uh, uh, with this three of pentacles situation, they might be involving others to help you out. Okay, help you out um, to fix this. Okay, uh, it's, it's just going to be a little too burdensome. Okay, you are overwhelmed with this nine of wands situation and the ten of wands. All right, it's, it's just a little too much. Like whatever uh, happened in the past, it is still in your head. You you're still carrying that. Uh, yeah. Uh, do not over with this. Okay, what they have done to you, you haven't forgotten yet. This is going to still influence your future. Because they might have done this multiple times as well, not just once, because I uh, tend swords on the back. A little too much. So you always have to be guarded, you yeah, know, on the fence. Like, will they do this again? You know, it, it just, you know, it's just a little too much. Give me a second. Yeah. This is something which which you will never forget. Okay. Whatever this past betrayals, whatever this tennis was about, you will never forget. It is always going to be a part of the way you think. Because Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords doesn't, you know, doesn't mess around. All right. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini energy or a Sagittarius energy. Oh, reading just got a little intense. What is your next card, please? What is your next card, please? This one. So I was just thinking before pulling out that card, somebody is asking for forgiveness. Again, they showed me the Ace of Cups. So it's, it's like I was thinking about the Knight of Cups itself. Uh, so what they have to offer is like, you know, they want to call it a truce or they just want to, you know, it's, it's like, exactly, because three of swords, you, you are not liking how things are right now, okay? You have been betrayed, ten of swords, you have been stabbed in the heart, okay? You are not happy and they are fighting it out. They are fighting a lost battle, Okay? But they're still not giving up. That kind of energy. They, they don't like it that, you know, you don't want anything to do with them. That is why whatever they're offering, it's, it's like, you know, they think if they have to, uh, you know, fix the situation or heal your heart because you have been hurt real bad. They have to offer you something solid. Okay, a commitment. That kind of energy. That is why that that's, uh, that's very um, interesting because five swords and a half and energy, and I'm like, ah, uh, it's just one person who's fighting for this, all right? But they're trying to explain what happened in between. Why are you so cautious? Why is it that you are not into the idea? Because somebody really fucked it up, okay? And that person wants to come back. Or it could be a new person as well, okay? But your past energy is still making you, you know, blocked. They want to heal your heart with the good in intentions. Uh, yeah. But something about you, you're not wanting this. Whatever they have to offer is, you know, if they're offering a cup, Okay, see, the Knight of Cups is coming up with a cup. 
And what is that cup? It is big, I guess, or something, you know, uh, big, like a commitment. Well, the thing is, even when the cup is coming your way, you are not interested. You're folding your hands. You don't want to accept it. That kind of energy. And I don't think so. this is for each and every one of, one of you out there. It could be for a particular set of person or could be for just one person. Okay, this is a weekly energy, so I don't know how it should make sense. But yeah, this is something which is going on in your life. Gemini's. Or this could be the cross watcher who is coming your way. Or you could be the one who might have betrayed them and you're going and uh, offering an apology or offering a commitment to fix things with them. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian energy or a Libran energy. All right, moving on. What is your next? Oh, okay. Look at the Six of Pentacles. You are going to offer... They might be trying, okay? They they are offering this to you, but it's it's there is an imbalance within this situation. Okay, one person is giving, the other person is receiving. So whatever uh, is being offered, the other person is receiving. But I feel like they are not reciprocating. Yes, three of cups. Ooh, because uh, there is this energy about this person might be offering their cups to multiple people at the same time. Okay. Oh. That's not fun. Yeah. This could be the reason why you're coming through as a four of cups. You're like, nah, don't include me as your third wheel. I am not interested in this. Just fuck off. You know, that kind of energy. Like, I, I, I'm not into this. All right. I don't want to be a to be a part of your options. Because I see this person is offering to multiple people at the same time. Okay? They're still... Uh, they haven't changed. Alright, because uh, the word in my head came out in Hindi and I was like thinking for a translation. Alright, anyhow, some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian energy. They want me to break the deck here before I go for the third card. Ooh, seven. Exactly. You are going to block this. Okay, whatever they have to offer you, like, stay away from me. This, this is uh, what I've spoken as well. You are not into this. You don't want to be a part of it. You're blocked off. Even this wand is across your chest. So you're blocking your heart. You, you're done with this bullshit. You don't want this person to hurt you again. Uh, yes, it's six of pentacles. Whatever they have to offer, you're like, no, keep it, keep it. Just, just, yeah. You know? Offer it to, give it to somebody else. I'm, I don't want any, any of it. All right. I would do the same thing. All right. I'm not surprised. Gemini is out there. What is your next card, please? This one is your... Magician. Ah, yes. Ah, this is a very blunt reading. Mm? Four of Cups, again, the same energy. All right? You you are not uh, wanting, you know, this person in your life. You're pushing them away. And this person is coming through as a player. Okay, this is a magician's energy. This person thinks they can get away with anything. Okay, how they way. Very charming, probably. They think, you know, I'm too good to be true. You know, I'm good enough for this person. You know, even if, you know, uh, I have done shit to them behind the back. It doesn't matter because ten of swords, they might have done it repetitively. But then, they somehow think it's okay. It's somehow okay to come back and offer you an apology or offer because they, they're a player in the sense like, you know, to fix things, they will give you something big, which you, uh, which they think, you know, you, you might have a hard time resisting. Okay, this is something which you really want. So they think if they give it to you, everything is going to be forgotten and forgiven. But 
you want to surprise them with this defensive energy because I see you blocking them. Okay, I, some of you might have literally blocked them. Okay, there is a, uh, one card. As for as swords, they think in the head things are going to heal. Okay, it, it, and it's a player mentality. Gemini's, you're dealing with a fucking player or you are the, because it's a Gemini energy as well. So you could be the person who is doing this to the other person and things, you know, it's, it's a Casanova energy actually. Because I saw the three of cups earlier and I'm like, this person offers his cups to everybody and anybody. Okay, and you know, you know, and I'm kind of impressed with you, the way you, you're putting up a fight and you're actually blocking them because five swords, the energy which came out initially with that knight of swords, and this person could be giving you some kind of a, in the Saharafin energy, they're giving you some kind of a foundation itself. Could be a marriage situation, you know, like, let's get married with that ace of cups energy and you're like, screw you. I uh, just, just giving them the middle finger. Just walk away. Hmm? That kind of energy. And uh, I like it. Me likey. Yes, temperance. The reason why you're doing this is because you've already thought this through. Okay, because uh, with this, such, uh, some of you might be dealing with a Libran energy or a Sagittarius energy. The thing about you is you've already made up your mind. That is why. You know, uh, the reason why I was impressed with you is like, you know, I already hinted. You came out like that initially itself. There is no doubt about it. You know, you very, um, you know, it's, it's uh, like I said, it's a losing battle. You now, one person is into it. One person is not. It's a one way situation. One person is trying, but the other person is like not bothered. So whoever that person is, uh, you know, who is not bothered about whatever this person is throwing away. Okay, whoever is blocking the other person, it's, it's, it's like uh, they've already figured it out in their head. They've taken, taken the time to think about it. And they know exactly what they're doing. They've realized, I don't want anything to do with you. Okay, they've made up their mind. They're not even confused. Okay, I like you. All right, some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Libra. Moving on, Gemini is out there. What is your next card, please? Whoa! Okay, and I said you are not confused. Your next card is this one. Ooh, and that makes sense. The thing is, all right, the, uh, the reason for the cards to fall apart, you know, it, it completely makes sense. I'll tell you why. This is your next card, okay, which is a three of swords, and this is the way the cards have fallen on the table, all right? And we have to... Pick, a, uh, pick up a couple of cards there. So, Three of Swords being your next card, it's like you have been hurt. This person has broken your heart. Like I said earlier as well, the Three of Swords have come through along with the Ten of Swords as well. Alright, they have betrayed you. They have stabbed you in the back. They have, uh, you know, literally stabbed you in the chest as well. So, your heart has been broken by this person. And now, they're offering you the Ace of Cups to heal that heart. They think they can fix this. And in the center is a magician's energy. This is their Casanova techniques. Okay, this is their tactic. They think they can get away with anything. Because they are that charming. But it's going to be surprising for them the way you're going to react. Okay? The way you're not interested anymore is going to surprise them. Now let's speak about the five cups. Five cups of pride is a person who is still thinking about the past. All right, uh, what they uh, what they've lost, what they've uh, you know, um, it's it's like crying over the spill. But in your case, in your case, you are over it. This is something of the past. That is why the four of swords. For a sword situation, it's like you've healed. Okay, when I showed you the, um, oof, the Sagittarius, what, what the fuck? All right, temperance energy. I told you the four swords and the temperance energy, you've already figured it out in your head. You've already thought about this. You are over it. 
you've already made up your mind you don't want this person in your life anymore so it's like three of swords you have been broken okay but you're done with it you're over it you are moving past and even with that six of swords energy you have moved on it's like packing your bags and leaving you're letting go of whatever of the past these two cards together is telling me you have moved past this heartbreak how beautiful is that okay it's, it's like they might have uh, shattered up your life, okay, with the way the cards have come through. But the thing is, you moved past it, which is brilliant. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, yes, um, I think, uh, I'm not going to look at any of the other cards, although I can, but it's going to be a little too long. So, uh, just the two cards, which is sitting upright, so the Empress Energy and the Seven of Cups. So, the thing about you is... You're only your own power. Okay, you're sitting like the empress. People, you have options now. Okay? Because three of cups, uh, sorry, the five of cups, you can see this person is crying over, over these three cups which has fallen over. Okay? Uh, it's spilling blood. Okay? Uh, in one of the decks, um, if you look at the sky, this person, um, you know, th there is blood dripping from these uh, swords. So it's, it's like they're still bleeding. But I get this feeling you're over it. And now you focus on these two cups which is behind him, which he did not, uh, you know, he wasn't focused on previously. But now it's in reverse. It came out for you in reverse. Now you're focused on what is there. Okay? And I feel like there is options for you. All right? Yes, Ace of Swords, you understand? Uh, this person, whoever, whoever is a person who is still trying to come back into your life, is just not worth it. Because we have the Ace of Swords right uh, below the six. Yes, you are again single. Okay. And it feels like you have so many options because um, Nine of Pentacles is a solo, a solo, solo energy. And then we have the Empress who is an upgrade. So you have so many options. Apart from this person who is coming back into your life, who is going to bring you uh, so much abundance, okay? You have options, not just one, multiple options. That is why you're not even bothered about this person. If they are surprised, you know, this is stupid. This is really thought they are the only one for you. But that's not the case. Hmm. All right. Yes, you're walking away, okay, with this Eight of Cups. You're walking away from something uh, which which was shallow, uh, just like the Six of Swords. You know, it wasn't working, so you're letting go. You're moving forward. Eight of Cups, this person is like leaving behind these Eight Cups, okay, which is shallow, which is empty. It is not worth their time. So they're walking away from it, all right? Walking away from it towards something which is abundant, which brings them happiness. All right, I'm not going to look at the cards. Yes, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Ten of Swords in reverse. If things were like this for you, you're over it. Okay? It's in reverse. Ten of Swords, you have healed from it. Now, let's, let's just... I'm not going to speak about it. That's way too many cards. I'm just looking whether it's upright or reverse. All right. Putting it back in. just lazy that's about it all right not concentrating on the cards but i'm still looking at the hermit energy along with the wands energy uh, it's a wands energy so there is you, you are looking you have options right with this empress and the seven of cups energy you have multiple options so there is something about you where they're showing me you're looking at these options and trying to assess who has the potential Okay, with this Ace of Wands, who is the best? Yeah, who is the one who is going to make it? And you're looking at the long term. Okay, with that Ten of Cups energy, having a family, having uh, yeah, the abundance, all that. Beautiful. Okay, it's it's, it's like you owning your power. <laughs> ten of Pentacles. Uh, uh, remember, I said Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. You're thinking about the long term. You're thinking about your stability, your security, your future, your finances, all that. It's it's like I would uh, I just reminded to say, it's like 
uh, you know, 40 years from now, what is going to be the portrait which is hang going to be hanging on your, you know, on your wall? Your partner, your parents, your children, your pets, you know, all that abundance which you've made, you know, all the happiness around you. you you're thinking about that. You're thinking about that long term. Okay? Yes. <laughs> uh, Eight of Wands and the Judgment Energy. The reason why I, I just don't look at the cards is because it all speaks. All right. See, uh, the death card. you moving. The judgment you're making is regards to where you're going with things. Again, death card is all about leaving things behind. You're okay? making that final decision and transitioning to the new phase. You're thinking forward. You're not looking behind. Eight of Wands is a forward moving energy. All right. And that's about it. Let's, let's do your last card. We're already in 25 minutes. Can I have a last card, please? No, I'm not going to look at it. Last card, please. Very chatty energy today. Gemini's. I get a drift of your reading, so I don't need more cards. This one. King of Wands. All right. You need to understand one thing. All right. They want me to look at these two cards as well. You need to understand one thing. The person whom you're rejecting, okay, is not going to make it easy for you. Is not going to, uh, in the sense, both my ears just started hurting. So it's like, they're not going to give up. And they're not going to like it that you are rejecting them. You're going after somebody else. Because I see you eight of wands and uh, the king of swords. You'd rather prefer somebody else over this person and they're not going to be happy about it. Okay? They can't think straight anymore. That kind of a situation. Okay? The fucking manipulator with this a magician and the king of wands energy both together is like... Now, you, you can't, you know, choose another person over me. That kind of energy. They will go to any extent to get you back. But the thing about you is, you're over there. You know? They don't stand a chance anymore. Because everything, even even the cards which fell apart, just said the same thing. You are just over this person. You have moved on. That kind of a, uh, You need to understand this person is so... Uh, how do I say it nicely? This person is a heartbreaker. How, how many times you can, even with, a, with this ace of cups they're offering to you, it is going, you know, if you accept it, you, they're still going to break your heart. You know, it's it's in their nature. I don't know whom I'm picking up on. I hope this is not for each and every one of you. You're dealing with an asshole. Okay. Yeah. Cannot say anything better. Um, yeah. But you know how to deal with this person, so it's 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 like I don't have to say much. You know, I don't have to drill it in your head. This is a kind of person. This is what they're up to. Mm, not required. You're over them. Okay, and that's beautiful. That's why I'm impressed with you people right now. Because you exactly know they will break your heart again and again and again. Okay. So, yeah, you have moved on. And there could be somebody, somebody uh, who has their head screwed up in the right place, whom you, you are moving forward with, with this eight of wands energy. All right, that's about it. But since, I'm just going to end, uh, I'm just going to take a break now. I have eight more readings to go. Oh, Lord. Uh, so I'm just going to break the deck here. This one, the tower. And I get this feeling the tower is going to come about like now. Somebody might have already uh, entered. King of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, no, 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 no. This is like, uh, no, no, no. King of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles behind. There is somebody who is very ungrounded. 
who is going to enter your space. Which is interesting. I'm telling you, there is multiple people who is coming into your life. Okay, multiple options. Because uh, earlier they showed me. Mm. So, okay, this makes sense now. Uh, because they showed me the King of Wands. All right, and I told you this is the this is the manipulator. Okay, this is a person who is going to um, try to fuck up your life again. Okay, so don't bother with them. But you're moving forward, or you have to move forward with a King of Swords energy who is you know rational, like you know sensitive, straightforward, all that. But the thing is, they're trying to tell me there is more. Don't can get confused. Okay. You need to understand because I showed you earlier as well the Empress and the Seven of Cups. You are getting multiple offers, like multiple choices to pick from. So don't mess up. Okay? Because there might be somebody else also who's trying to come into your life who's like the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay? A little ungrounded, like, you know, screwed up. One person has their head screwed in the right place, and the other person is like, now, might not be financially settled, a little immature probably, or might be younger to you probably, something about that, okay? And this could uh, might not be the right person for you. So this person might enter your space like now, or maybe at the same time as the King of Swords, because multiple, multiple kings at the same time, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, King of Swords. Go with the King of Swords, who, whom you feel like, yeah, but this person could be older as well, all right? Intelligent, uh, intelligent. But there could be somebody else who is a no go, like oh, somebody who is unstable. Okay, so think things through. Whom whom you're going to go with? Let me look at the cards again. The Tower, the Queen of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Three of Pentacles, multiple energy. There might be people who is helping out, probably family who is introducing people to you or friends who is introducing people to you, who wants or, you know, at your workplace, because three of pentacles and the six of cups energy, you're meeting people at your workplace, you know, uh, that kind of energy, but not, you know, I don't know, uh, there is something about that. Just because you're letting loose from this person, don't jump into, um, a relationship with the next new person no understand the person if uh, you find them compatible only then take things forward if you find things off with this person let it go because you have more options that is definite you have more options and this seems like a relationship reading from the looks of it because it was detailed all right but if it makes sense any other way, that good good enough for you. That's it for now. This is Marishi. I shall look at intellect side. Bye bye.